Mother Cow, you've taken us on a bit of a wander and I'm not quite sure where we are. We're surrounded in trees, I haven't got any landmarks to work off. How can I tell where I am? Well what we can do is we can orientate our map to face north and then work out where we need to head to from here. And to do this we're going to use our compass. So what I do is I line my compass up with the side of the map and first we find magnetic north. So we turn around here to that point. We know from our Topo 50 map that we have to adjust our compass bearings to get from magnetic north to map north by 20 degrees. So we put that into the wrong way. We make that adjustment and then we make our compass go back to north and then that gives us our map facing north. So we can see we head, have to head off into this northeasterly line here, which is off to our left. Right, so it's all about getting the map up the right way so it actually matches the features on the ground and we're not reading it upside down and going the wrong direction altogether. That's a key part of it, yes. All right, lead on, where are we going? Let's go. Windy Wellington living up to its name, but it's a great view from here. So even if we didn't have a compass here, Carl, we'd be able to orientate our map? Yeah, we would. And we'd do that by a little bit of triangulation and identifying features that we can see with features on the map and doing it that way. So we know over to that side of us is the lookout. And if I turn around and look back down this way, I can see the monastery that we passed on the way up the hill at the start of the track. So if I line my map up so that the lookout is off to my right and the monastery is down that way to our left, once again our map is orientated again and we can see where we need to head. Excellent, so you can use land features to help you get your map up the right way. Hey, well thanks for taking us on this great walk this afternoon, Carl. It's been a pleasure. It certainly has. It's great being here. <laughs>